Hello everyone, my name is Yusuke Mori, a PhD student at the University of Tokyo, Japan. Today, let me introduce our paper, The Nectar of Missing Persian Prediction for Story Completion. This is a joint work with Hiroaki Yamane, Yusuke Mukta, and Tatsuya Harada. For those who will watch this presentation later, I'd like to explain what a Nectar paper is. Nectar paper is a paper with a summary of our own work published in our uh, in other conferences or journals that the author believe was filed sharing with the Texas history community. This paper, titled as the Nectar of Missing Punishment Prediction for Story Completion, is a summary of our previous work, Finding and Genting a Missing Part for Story Completion. The paper was proposed in the fourth joint taken workshop on computational linguistics for cultural heritage, social sciences, humanities, and literature, which is co-held with Coring 2020. We summarize the major points of the previous paper and add some more insights and discussions. There were three main contributions in the summary of the paper. First, we proposed machine Persian prediction MPP task. Second, we proposed a novel method for mission prediction prediction. Third, story completion with mission prediction prediction was done as an experiment. And here is the main contribution of this Nectar paper. We summarize the two of the three main points of the previous paper. We explain our proposed mission prediction prediction or MPP. MPP is a task to predict the position of missing part of an incomplete story. We believe MPP have essential meaning in the context of story understanding, story generation, and creative writing assistance. Then, we explained our method for MPP. Our analysis shows that highly accurate predictions can be obtained when the missing part is the beginning or the end of the story. Then, as a Nectar paper, we add more insights and discussions based on the results we got by the proposed method. The background of our study is story understanding and story generation. Nowadays, thanks to the internet, anybody can freely publish their original stories. However, writing a story is not an easy task. To write a good story, or to generate a good story, we should first consider what a good story is. If we don't know about what a good story is, we can't evaluate whether the written or generated story is good or not. On the contrary, writing a story or generating a story makes us understand more about the secret of creating a story. We believe that we cannot divide understanding and the generation of stories. Moreover, our motivation is also on the creative support for human writers. In other words, our aim is human story writing assistance. As I have said in the previous page, writing a story is not an easy task. Story writers have various problems during their works. For example, they sometimes cannot complete their works. When it finally comes to publication, that doesn't mean it will sell well. For part-time writers, they should find the good balance with their other works. Research to mimic human creativity has been done for a long time, as far as we know, since the 1970s. Recent progress in natural language processing and computational linguistics makes it feasible to support human creative endeavors. To assist people in creative story creating stories, it is essential to train computers to understand and create st stories. Now, how to create a story is different for media, genre, and even for each creator. Please note that the figure in this slide is just an example. First, a writer decides which genre to write. For example, mystery, science fiction, romance novels, and so on. Then, the writer makes a proposal. 
If the writer is a professional writer, he or she may show this proposal to the editors. In proposal, the writer consider what is the theme of the story, what kind of stories are sell well in the journal, who are the expected readers, who are the protagonists and antagonists, and etc. Then, plot is created based on the settings. Now, the writer is ready to write a story based on the plot. Sometimes, writers should go back to the previous step and start over to make the works better. The aim of this study is to support plot making and writing text on the plot. Before explaining our new task, let's revisit the existing story completion task. One and one proposed story completion task in the field of generating and understanding stories. Given any four sentences of a five sentence story, the objective of story completion is to generate a sentence that is not given. Please see the uh, figure in the left. There is a uh, four sentence story. Um, it is generated from the five sentence original story and one sentence dropped. Then the objective of story compression is to fill the um, dropped sentence. Here I'd like to go back in time to see how the story compression task came about. There is a cross test by Terra um, in 1953. It is a well-known assessment for readability. In cross test, some words are lost from a text, and a test taker fills them. Cross-test is um, applied for story and narrative. Um, the representative ex example um, are narrative cross-test and story cross-test or SCT. From an original five-sentence story, the last sentence is excluded in SGT. The first two four sentences are presented, and the objective is to select an appropriate sentence from two options that complement the missing last sentence. Subtext of the story generation inspired by SCT is story and uh, story ending generation and story completion. Task complete in complete stories, in other words, cross task that generated rather than select. In story ending generation, the last sentence of the five sentence story is lost, and the objective of the task is to generate the last sentence. In story completion, the objective is to generate a missing sentence, and the, the missing part is not restricted to the last sentence. This is a challenge of our task. Previous sentence level story cross tasks require a user to have prior knowledge of the missing parts. In SEG, the last sentence is lost. In story completion, the case sentence is lost and case is given. The case where the missing parts is not known was remain untouched. Our missing portion prediction or MPP aims to fill this gap. Our objective is that finding a missing part in the flow of a story to complete an incomplete story. This task is to for story understanding, story generation, and for creative support. Note that the incompleteness of a story is not only missing, but also there are other kinds of inco incompleteness. For example, there, there may be too much uh, sentences um, and the complete, um, to complete the story, uh, the writer should uh, remove a sentence um, to make the um, story more clear and more clear. However, writing the story and supporting it is a complex and difficult task. We tackled it first by focusing on one important step. Now, um, again, main contributions of the summary paper is 
proposed missing position prediction task and uh, proposed its method. And we, we also did the uh, task story completion with missing position prediction. And the main contributions of this next paper is summarize the previous paper, how we propose the missing position prediction, and how we propose the normal method for missing position prediction. And we add some more insights or discussions based on the pre um, previous paper's result. And this is a story compression task, and this is our new task. Existing story compression, the position of a missing part is given. In our new task, predict, prediction the position of a missing part from a remaining context. You may be curious about the, how all these tasks apply to the real situation. A writer asks an editor, how, um, how do you think this story? And show his or her story to the editor. The editor uh, look at the uh, um, story uh, written by the writer and advise him or her. I recommend you add information as uh, her teacher stated the test auto protocol after the certain is. The editor uh, advised with um, fair to add the sentence and what the content is. The writer uh, um, has no prior a priori knowledge of the uh, phrase that missing, and the uh, editor should um, pr uh, sh should um, consider fair to. Um, Add and fat to add. And this is a formulation of the MPP. We define Raj S, S1, S2, um, and Sn as a story comprised of n sentences. And then input is an incomplete story consists of n minus 1 sentences. We call it S prime. Fair k represents the position of the missing sentence. Any information regarding k is not given. Then the objective of our task is predict k from s prime. For your, your friends, the objective of story compression is to generate s k from s prime and given k. Then this figure shows our proposed method for missing position prediction. Given a full sentence in complete story, the model treats each sentence by the sentence encoder and gets sentence embeddings. Then, these sentence embeddings are fed into the context encoder to get context embedding. Context embedding is fed into the linear layer and classification is done for mission project prediction. Moreover, this method can be easily expanded for story compression. The same context embedding is fed into language model and it generates the missing sentence. Now, outputs from the two modules and given complete story are combined. We conducted two experiments in the previous paper. In this next paper, we focused on experiment one. Experiment one, missing position prediction. In, it is the experiment in which we investigated the part of the proposed method that excludes language model to show the desired context encoder. In, ex, in experiment, we used ROG stories as a dataset. It is a large-scale story corpus about 10K, sto 10k stories proposed with SCT. It is a collection of non-fictional daily life stories written by hundreds of workers belonging to Amazon Mechanical Tech. Not only for SCT, but it is also widely used in story generation tasks for story, um, story generation and story completion. 
For our purpose MEP task, we randomly split the dataset in the ratio of 811 to obtain the train validation test sets. For each story, one sentence was randomly excluded to create an incomplete story. This is the settings for experiment 1. As a sentence encoder, we use sentence part or s part. And as a context encoder, we um, tried GRU and MX pool. Here are the other settings. Um, for, um, training Xbox is 30, and optimizer is Ada, and batch size is 256. Among the trained experts, we used BART based NRI means tokens. Here are the results of the overall accuracy. GRU uh, context, uh, context encoder uses GRU, uh, outperforms max, um, context encoder using max pool. Prediction accuracy shown as mean plus minus STD. It is five class crossing tasks, so the chance rate is 20 percent. And these are heat maps to show the accuracy for each position. The performance is lower than k equal two three four than that of fan k equal one five. Discussions about an experiment. When the first or fifth sentence was missing, the accuracy was higher than when the second, third, or fourth sentence was missing. In other words, the beginning or the ending of a story can be easily predicted when, the, when they are the last sentence. This appears to be related to how ROC stories was corrected. The story should really like a coherent story with a specific beginning and ending where something happens in between. Thus, it is likely that if the beginning or the ending is missing, our method can interpret it as unnatural. Now, let's move on to the further analysis section. In this next paper, we conducted further analysis on our finding in the summary paper. The beginning or the ending is easy to predict as missing. We serve as two hypotheses. First one is that the second to fourth sentences in a five sentence story are represented by a similar sentence embedding. In other words, the middle sentences have different sentence embeddings compared with first or last sentences. The second hypothesis is that if part of speech tagging is applied for each sentence, a different trend may be observed. In hypothesis 1, the similarity of embeddings in middle sentences. This is a heat map of the similarity of embeddings in the training set. For each story in the training set, we calculated the cosine similarity among the sentence embeddings of five sentences. Contrary to our hypothesis, the sentence embeddings of the second to fourth sentences were not more like each other than to the first and fifth sentences. Hypothesis 2 Part of speech tagging Part of speech tagging of words in each sentence was performed for all stories in the training set. For each sentence number, we took the average number of times each tag appeared in the sentence. The focus is on whether there is anything special about the distribution of post tags in the first and the last sentences. In the first sentence, the appearance of proper noun is numerical, 
and in the fifth sentence, although not as prominent, adverb and adjective occur frequently. Conclusion In the summary paper, to overcome the mean tension of the conventional story completion task, we propose Nishin position prediction to predict the position of the mission part based on the given incomplete story. We found that a prediction is easier if the beginning or the ending of a story is missing. Then in the next paper in this study, the conclusion is that the further analysis suggested that the distribution of part of speech tagging may play a significant role in prediction accuracy. We should know that whether the prediction models pay attention to words with these tags is a subject for future analysis. Um, as a supplement, um, I will talk about the experiment 2 of the summarized paper. Experiment 2, machine position prediction plus story completion. Based on the results of experiment 1, we tackled both missing position prediction and story completion, and conducted human evaluation with Amazon Mechanical Attack. We used the same dataset, ROG stories, and um, the same processing is used. We use sentence BERT as sentence encoder, and GRU as context encoder, and BERT as language model. We conducted a two-step human evaluation. First, we conducted a qualification test to choose workers with the ability in evaluative stories. Used randomly selected 10 questions from story cross test, and workers perfectly answered the 10 questions are welcome to the next step. Second, we conducted a pairwise evaluation. The qualified workers were given two similar short stories and asked to choose which story gives the impression of being a complete story. Five MTARC workers evaluated each story pair. The most popular answer of five workers were considered as an agreement. We used 200 stories, and the most frequently chosen answer by five workers were considered as their agreement. Our proposed method can generate a story that is as good as or better than a grand truth story with 26% probability. In the first example, the autocomplete story was evaluated to be better than the grand truth. Missing position prediction was a success, and the contextualized completion sustenance was generated. In the second example, the autocomplete story was rated as equivalent to the grand truth. Mission position prediction estimated a missing location but uh, that different, differed from the original story, but increased information differently from the grand truth, which is appreciated by the workers. This is a failure case. In this example, odd completion did not work. It succeeded in missing prediction, but it failed in generating a contextualized completion sentence. The so failure to generate an essential word, in this case, contest, is pointed out. Please note that the second answer appears to have been mischaracterized. The conclusion of experiment 2 is, um, is that we tackle the combined task of mission prediction and the cooperation, and in human evaluation, our proposal method showed promising results. Thank you for your attention. Our call for mission prediction is publicly available at the GitHub rep um, repository. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions or advices. Thank you again for listening.